times that I'll get in the next hour. That'll be a good sign. I hope you get 30 email chimes. That's always a good sign. Yeah, I, 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 average, about, I average about 180 a day. Unfortunately, 90% of them I actually have to respond to. So it's, you know, it can be a bit overwhelming. Nice. Well, um, hey, I just wanted to say thank you guys for joining. Uh, thank you to the viewers that are on. And uh, of course, the people that are going to uh, sit down and watch the recorded version. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Uh, as you know, we do a webinar uh, every single month. Uh, the, last, the last few months have been based on teaching and PowerPoints and what, what I know can be some boring stuff. Interesting to some, but I mean, a PowerPoint can only do so much. So we thought, uh, what better way to show kind of what our technology does than to bring on um, a customer of ours uh, that um, has, is used, successfully using the Condor in a unique scenario, as well as um, one of our uh, partners out of North Carolina, um, and that'll be Jay uh, with ConnectView. So, um, Without further ado, I'll introduce myself. I'm Zach Flanagan. I'm, a, I'm a, the channel manager here at Phoenix Audio Technologies. Uh, Jay and Sam, if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Go ahead, Sam. Uh, my name is uh, Sam M. I'm the manager of educational technology here at Westminster Theological Seminary. And uh, we're a higher ed education institution that is trying to train uh, pastors and scholars. Fantastic. Perfect. And uh, my name is Jay Seaman. I'm the CEO of uh, ConnectView. Uh, we're a uh, systems integrator and based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and, uh, and we do a tremendous amount with a, a whole slew of UC solutions. Um, and, um, you know, from uh, we're one of video's largest integrators. We do a lot of large scale streaming, webcasting with VBrick. Uh, a lot of digital signage. We serve the uh, kind of all markets, but our kind of our hallmark, our specialty is the EDU market, both higher ed and K-12. Um, we have about uh, 250 uh, customers in that, in that specific vertical uh, that we work with on, uh, on UC and C applications. Fantastic. You have one of them here with Sam. So, that's right. Uh, mm -hmm. That's great. And uh, it kind of shows, because Sam, you are not in North Carolina. You're in... Pennsylvania? Yes, we're located in uh, the outskirts of Philadelphia. Right. That's fantastic. Kind of showcases uh, the reach you have with video conferencing, where Sam can, you can be a great uh, AV integrator to Sam, and our solution is simple enough where Sam can install it himself, and uh, everybody can be happy, so I love that. Um, just for the uh, viewers out there, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a kind of a success story with Sam's install. We're going to talk to Sam about uh, why they, we're going to start from the, the basics of why they even started using video conferencing, what they do with it, um, and then we'll kind of dive into where Phoenix Audio fit in there. Um, we'll, we'll release Sam after that, uh, so he can go enjoy this Friday. Uh, I know it's Eastern time over there, so uh, it's getting later in the day. And then Jay and I will stay on for, um, for probably 10 or 15 more minutes and talk a little bit more about what Jay does. Um, that way, if you're in his area or, or anywhere and you're interested, um, you'll, you'll be able to reach out to him about that. Uh, so, if you have any questions, please use the chat box. Uh, we will answer them as they come in. And um, and Jim Kane is here. Welcome, Jim. That's our first question or statement, which is fine too. If you have statements, you can make those as well. Um, and we'll get to them when we can. So, Sam, let's start with that uh, basics. Uh, why did you guys start using video conferencing? Uh, <clears throat> the original purpose was for uh, distance education. And uh, initially, well, we have some H323 systems in place, but we found them kind of bulky to use, uh, not as easy uh, user friendly. And uh, from there, we were looking for a solution uh, in one of our classrooms. And we were using something called uh, Fusebox. And did that for a little bit, but then was looking for a different solution, easier to use solution, and came across Zoom. And then that's when we've been using Zoom ever since. Yeah, that's fantastic. That is the that is where the industry has been headed for a few years, and uh, and it's just getting more and more popular. Uh, I know with the generally with the H three two three solutions, uh, we're probably talking about LifeSize, Cisco, Polycom, those those players. Uh, usually, you get an all in one solution there, right? You get a camera, you get a mic, and then you get a box that encodes and decodes your video. Uh, so you don't really have to worry about each particular. Um, solution and when you move to Zoom, you have to start thinking about okay, well, what camera do I want? What audio solution do I want? Which then um, you got to hit the market. You got to work with somebody like Jay, who has experience in all the different solutions out there. 
um, how important was it for you guys to find uh, the quali quality audio solution? Because it's surprising, but audio is sometimes the last thing people think about. Usually it's aesthetics um, and then camera, and then they think about audio, which is kind of kind of silly, right? Because if I can't hear you, we can't have a meeting. Uh, but um, how important was it for you? Uh, vitally important. Uh, <clears throat> when we were looking at different options and um, – our VP of operations at one point was saying, you know, we, we need quality audio. And uh, that's why it basically led us to finding Phoenix and Jake. So, okay, so if it led you to Phoenix, where did you start then? Uh, well, <clears throat> initially we had a, uh, another integrator out in New Jersey come in and they set up this room. Um, and in the initial install, they used a Aver camera and speakerphone system, uh, which didn't quite give us the coverage that we were looking for. So then at that point, we started looking for a better camera and then a better audio system. And we tried a Jabra unit uh, for a while, but that didn't quite cover what we were looking for either. And then that's when uh, we found the Spider. And the Spider did a good job. Uh, and then beyond that, we wanted to go a little more robust and we ended up going with the condor in here. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I, I, I'll share an image in a second of the condor in there. And it, it really does, uh, it allows you to take everything off the desk, which I think is important. Uh, take everything off that really beautiful table you have right there. Um, that's fantastic. Um, so at the, after testing each, each particular item, what made you stick with uh, Phoenix then? Uh, definitely uh, the sound quality compared to the other devices out there um, and then the setup, having uh, the mic array and a sound bar uh, pretty much blows everything else out of the water really in terms of quality. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Let's, uh, you know what, let's talk about the Condor and let me um, share this um, picture um, of, your, of your room. Let's see which picture do I want to. So there's kind of um, a close-up version, uh, not the best lighting. Now, is that on a mobile video cart, or is that against the wall? Uh, it's a video cart, and so my uh, physical plant team actually created a uh, custom hook system to mount that uh, onto that metal plate underneath the TVs. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I want to, you know, I think I have a, let me get an image. I have an image of the whole room. Um, let's see, where is this one at? It might be right here. No, that's one of Jake's installs right there. Yeah, Sam, the, um, <clears throat> just for, for future reference, uh, rather than having your facilities team build a, a, a mount, uh, Phoenix Audio actually designed a bracket for the Condor, specifically for mobile applications. Uh, it's a little $20 bracket. Uh, that will allow you to mount it to a uh, to the back of a TV mount and uh, and suspend it. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, Zach actually uh, sent me that information after uh, I sent them the pictures, and um, I, I'm definitely I definitely will use it next time. In this is specific situation, I don't know how well it would have worked because it's between two TVs, whereas right. in other installs I see that it's for right under one television, but. Uh, I'll definitely give it a try for next time, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that with Jay, but Jay was actually a big uh, of a, reason, a reason why we have that, because uh, Jay does so much with the mobile video cards. Um, so I did notice the spider still on the table there for people that see it. It's not um, absolutely necessary. Um, in that type of room, um, we, would, we would definitely want to daisy chain those spiders. So as a, a quick point, um, which I think it was before Sam knew all the capabilities when he ordered the spider. And I think he actually might be doing this um, soon is you can actually connect up to 14 daisy chain units. So there really is not too many rooms uh, that the spider cannot cover. Um, and uh, aren't you planning on doing that, Sam? You're going to be uh, daisy chaining a spider? Uh, that's correct. Uh, so we'll be putting the spider that you see in the picture uh, further up the table on that side and then put a spider on the other side of the table so that we can get uh, great coverage all around the table pretty much. And I understand you're even going to be plugging in a sound bar to the spider. So you're going to be using the, utilizing your sound bar audio? Um, uh, yes. Uh, we, we really like the sound when it comes out of a sound bar. 
uh, not to knock the spider's audio, uh, speaker audio, but a uh, soundbar just, it, it provides a lot better uh, fidelity and uh, quality. Uh, the soundbar will have like a, a subwoofer, which we, we do not have. And uh, exactly. it's fine, the, the spider speakers are more capable, but I, I think it's, we like to give you the capability to use that. So if, if you yeah. want a soundbar, you, maybe you have ceiling speakers or something, um, we're fine. Like, please, yeah, use your speakers, just use our DSP and our mics. And so, um, more power. There's a great option. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so with this room, did you do that install yourself with the Condor? Uh, the Condor install, yes, I did that. And if you look above the video camera, uh, that black thing against the door yep. is the soundbar, actually. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. And then, so would you, on a scale of, let's say, 1 to 10, uh, let's say 10 is the easiest, uh, how easy was it to install the Condor yourself? I would say it's a, I would say it's a 10. Oh, 10. Very nice. Yeah, I know that. So and I, I like to take this time to say that, Sam, we have lots of documentation on installing the Condor, whether it be with the Cisco system or a Polycom system or a Zoom system or video and or Skype for business. So like little caveats of things you can change and help. And um, we sent this information to Sam and he actually followed it step by step, which probably made it a lot easier. Um, not everyone does that, but uh, for those that are watching, uh, we have uh, directions for whatever you're installing the Condor with uh, to give you the capability to install it yourself. Uh, we think it's very important. And then um, I think uh, one last thing I would want to touch on with you, Sam, which we're not, we don't base our solutions on price. We're actually a higher end um, solution for USB audio conferencing. Uh, but we do give you high quality audio that can cover larger spaces than some of our competitors. Um, that being said, did, would you say Phoenix saved you money um, for this particular install? Because I know you went through different solutions. So when you finally, when you finally ended up on Phoenix, um, did it save you money versus what else you would have gone with after the other two solutions didn't work out for you? Oh, definitely. Uh, the, next, the next step uh, in trying to get quality audio in here was uh, putting in a clear one DSP with a beamform microarray, and that would have cost uh, thousands of more dollars than the Condor. So absolutely, that's why I say it was money. And you cannot knock that product. It's a it's a it's a really really good product. Um, it's just um, you know it's about eight times more expensive at the end of the day um, than ours. Um, so yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, we love that we saved you money. We love that we made it easier on you, and we love that we're going to give you. Uh, kind of the versatility to um, cover such a beautiful room with USB audio because this stuff is still fairly new, um, this kind of transition from Codex. And I think uh, it seems like we're there, you know? I mean, just looking at this solution um, and the price you paid for the whole thing, if we would have looked back, you know, five years um, from now, I, that it would have cost you so much more money to do this in this type of room. Very cool. Uh, Sam, do you have any final thoughts? I think uh, I kind of covered uh, your story. I, I think uh, the room is gorgeous. I appreciate that. I actually shared this on my LinkedIn, and it's, it's, I think it's just about trending. It may be going viral, so we might have to prepare for that change in our lives of this uh, online celebrity if we're going to get. All right. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> awesome. Well, Sam, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we really appreciate it. Jay, thanks for helping Sam out. Um, I appreciate yes, thank it. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. And uh, yeah, next time I'm uh, in your neck of the woods, I'll give you a, I'll give you a holler and, and come by. Sounds good. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you. Have right, a good one, guys. Talk soon. Yeah, thanks, Sam. All right, bye. So, Jay, I know uh, I love that you're that you have your solution um, that you you sell a ton of um, video. Mm -hmm. And um, and even though Sam is kind of using a different cloud solution, you still have the versatility to kind of help any customer. That's right. One way or another. Um, so that's fantastic. So let's uh, let's jump in. You and I. We got about ten minutes left, and um, let's talk about Connect View. So for those watching, um, Connect View. He already gave you a brief notes, but they're out of Raleigh, uh, North Carolina, um, and. Uh, they do really, really good work around video conferencing. And I'm not going to talk for Jay. I'll, Jay, I'll let Jay kind of give you a, a, a kind of a description of what they do. Sure. 
Yeah, so Zach, I appreciate that. You know, I mean, our company, uh, or, or as a company, um, you know, we are a video first company. Video, there are two things that have to happen if you want to do business with us. Uh, a, it has to have video, a, a video component, and B, it has to be a network or IP based video component. So all of our engineers are, are highly trained CCNA, CCMP, CCIE type engineers. Uh, all of them have at least uh, five to six years or more of background in the video space, dating all the way back to, believe it or not, MPEG-1 streaming days. Um, so all we do is video, uh, and of course, all of the supplementary and, and accessory you know, type of, of components of video. Uh, the vast majority of our customers are moving to a soft codec environment and have been for quite some time. Um, and, uh, and so while we do you know, sell a soft codec solution with video, V-I-D-Y-O, uh, we also have a number of customers that are using Zoom rooms. We have a, a large number of customers that are using Skype. Um, and uh, and we, bring, we come in with you know, audio video solutions to complement those, the decisions that the business units might have made to, you know, to go down that road. One of the biggest things that we get called in for is audio. Um, vast majority of AV integrators in the market um, come from a traditional AV background, very, uh, you know, analog, XLR, balanced audio type, you know, environments. And USB and IP throw a little bit of a monkey wrench because it's, it's a different, you know, it's a different, totally different protocol and totally different environment. Uh, and so we get called in quite often to existing implementations where the audio capacity or audio uh, just simply isn't adequate, and they're asking us for a solution uh, around audio. Um, you know, we found, uh, we did a lot of extensive testing with Clear One and, and a bunch of the lower end audio solutions in the market uh, years ago. We found, uh, we found Phoenix uh, just doing, you know, searching for USB audio, uh, bought a couple of their products, tested them out here in our lab, uh, and, and fell in love with the quality of them. Uh, and uh, so as a result, you know, uh, we typically install, you know, we lead with and install, uh, you know, Phoenix Audio, uh, the entire range of your products from your Spider to, uh, to in some cases, even your Duet, uh, but your Spider a lot with your Condor as well as your Octopus. Yeah, I would like to say that I, I love how, like, first I fell in love with your solution with the mobile video cart. Uh, mm -hmm. so me coming from an AV integrator background, I've sold and pushed mobile video cards, and um, I think one of the um, one of the kind of downsides to that is you always had to take some type of speakerphone and then carry it across to the table. That's um, right. And the way you do it with the Condor uh, allows you to have this all-in-one solution where the only thing coming out of the mobile video cart, which as it should be, is going to be probably network and power right. out of the back of it. Uh, and I think uh, it it's an amazing solution for that, and it. Did you have some pictures you wanted? Do you have any pictures of your mobile video cart? Or? Uh, I, I had one up of the mobile video cart because Sam showed one that's very similar to ours. I actually pulled up a, can a picture of a fixed install that we did for a training room here in North Carolina that shows the, uh, the Condor as well. Can you, can you see that picture on my desktop? Yeah, I see it. Did you, uh, do you have a share screen icon on the bottom there? I do, yeah. Go ahead and uh, hit that share screen. I remember this install, yeah. Yep. So th th this is a uh, this is a fixed install uh, implementation where we actually have a 70-inch uh, interactive television uh, in the center that's hosting a video soft client. Uh, so this is very similar to our implementations for Skype. Uh, and so, uh, and then we hit, they're flanked by two 70-inch TVs, and then this is a panorama view that has an 80-inch on the other side, and of course the room's all controlled. Uh, we have basically surface mount uh, JBL speakers mounted above for far end audio. And then we have, as you can see, we have your condo mounted uh, below the, um, the interactive touch screen that's running the, uh, the video client uh, software. Nice. Very nice. Very nice uh, uh, installation right there. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, I, I think the point I was getting at to a second ago was um, how I, I did fall in love with those, those mobile video cards you do. And then not only that is that you use all of our products. So you're not like biased. It's not like you're selling like just mostly Condors. Um, I see orders come in all the way from our SIP spiders to even the analog spiders for some customers, um, octopus units. Uh, so what that tells me is you 
really right fit your customers. So depending on what the customer really needs, you're going to make sure that the audio solution fits them rather than kind of just pushing what, what you think is best with the mobile video card. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you that, you know, it, having spent 16 years in the video industry uh, from doing things from, you know, broadcast to, to wide, you know, large scale webcasting, you know, Zach, the most overlooked thing is always audio. And unfortunately, if the audio is bad, you can you can send out 5K video. If the audio isn't, isn't good, you, you, you know, the, the, you might as well not have the session. It's audio is it, it, when you think about video. The very first thing you ought to consider uh, in your implementation, uh, technical implementation guidelines, is audio. Um, and uh, and so, you know, we've had a lot of success with with Phoenix, uh, and and you know, a lot of variety of different installs. Uh, and uh, we've been very pleased with the product. Fantastic. I want to um, I want to share that one image that I, I think actually popped up a second ago, um, which is this one that you did. Can you yep. talk a little bit about this? This is just fantastic, bringing this into um, the classroom here. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, so this is a distance learning uh, application. Uh, we're actually, you know, we actually were, were there live as they were having their class. Uh, and we have a mobile cart um, with dual 49-inch displays uh, running a video uh, codec. Um, and uh, the students are, are joining via their laptops, uh, both at this school and they have seven remote schools. Um, and uh, and on that cart we have the condor and uh, and so we're able to pick up the entire room audio everybody's hands free we don't have to worry about shuffling of papers on the desk which is very common in an educational environment uh, because folks you know particularly students uh, this happens to be fifth grade uh, you know these students are not accustomed to uh, etiquette associated with video conferencing so we have to kind of uh, make it simple for them so they don't even have to think about it. And the Condor is a great, great application. The other thing is that in an educational environment, the rooms that they choose to host a video call in will change from period, whether it's A day or B day, uh, or whether it's period one, you know, one through four or five through eight, they've got to move that cart basically every single classroom. So being able to wind up audio cables, putting, you know, various audio solutions onto shelving, uh, it causes a great deal of wear and tear. Uh, oftentimes, they don't end up putting it back together properly. So in this way, all they do is they simply unlock the wheels, they move the whole cart, they lock the wheels back up again, plug in the Ethernet, and they're done. Everything is ready to go and completely mobile for them. Right. I love that we point out the fifth graders don't know the etiquette of the uh, <laughs> video conferencing just yet. They probably don't know a lot of etiquettes just yet. Um, yeah. I think you, I, this also mitigates the risk, and, and not against fifth graders. I've seen this happen. I've heard of this happening a lot in college campuses, too, of products kind of, let's say they grow legs and they leave the room. Um, if you have some type of, uh, you know, speakerphone that can be moved around. And I right. think the Condor helps mitigate uh, people um, kind of taking that as their own and taking it home with them. That's right. That yeah, and we, we, had, we, had a customer, we had a customer in Asheville, North Carolina. It's a community college there. Uh, and they had a number of, of the spider units uh, and even some of the old quattros uh, in their mobile carts where they're doing distance learning between their, uh, with, with, between their remote campuses and their, and their primary campus. And they've since upgraded those to uh, the Condor because the rooms are ideally sized for the Condor's you know, you know, range of limit. Uh, and at the same time, uh, they're able to get a much more powerful uh, you know, uh, array or, or much more powerful audio experience as both the professors and the students, you know, are, are, are mobile, basically, in a, in a room. Very nice. And then I have, um, where is, I have one more I was going to share, which was, um, I think it's, uh, it's, I think it's actually your office, if I don't remember correctly, because I really like the, uh, just, this is just the setup in your office, correct? You yeah. even have some legacy stuff below the condor there. That's right. Yeah, that's one of the, one of your old quattros with the dialer on it, and uh, which is is there now. We we collect. I collect old phones and have some old turn of the century phones, uh, and so we've added that uh, we've added that legacy device to our uh, to our collection of of, of telephone equipment uh, that's on display. And of course, we use the Condor in the room. Uh, we have the Condor connecting uh, to an amplifier, and actually have four four inch speakers in the ceiling. Uh, and, uh, and and so our far end audio comes over the four inch speakers. That's your perfect solution right there. Um, that's just fantastic. Uh, Jay, I, we're actually running up on, uh, that time really flew by. 
Uh, we're running up on the end of the 30 minute mark. Uh, we like to keep these short. Um, did you, uh, you have any final thoughts you'd like to add? No, I mean, you know, I mean, the biggest thing, Zach, is, you know, when you're looking at, at, at soft codecs, USB audio is a must have. And if you're going to do USB audio, you know, I would encourage, you know, customers anywhere in the world uh, and even integrators, you know, to take a very close look at Phoenix, you know, at, at your company, at Phoenix Audio, uh, from the range and flexibility of the products that you offer to the sound quality that, that you guys deliver. Uh, there's very few applications that you guys can't fit into. Uh, and as soon as somebody says soft codec and, and or, you know, H.264 SVC, whether it's Skype, Zoom, or video, uh, you know, you guys are, are the perfect fit to, to deliver an audio solution for them. Fantastic. Really appreciate that. And um, what I would like to say is if there are customers and users watching, uh, give Jay a call if you're interested. You've seen what he's done, what he has done, the versatility of his installs from mobile video cards on the wall to our audio mixer, ceiling mics. Um, he, he's basically got you covered from end to end. So Jay, I don't know if you um, maybe have a, a, a screen to share where they can see kind of your email and your, your phone number or something like that, maybe just your signature. But I would love to have yeah, you on the recorded version of it. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, let me sh share that here real quick. And um, I, can, I can certainly uh, do that. I probably should have prepped that ahead of time. I, I just thought of it now, so that's all right. Uh, yeah, we do, for those that are watching, uh, we don't sell direct. Uh, we sell through um, a channel with AV Integrator Partners. We feel like um, it's the most important space. Take, for example, all the different things Jay does. It, it just puts you in a better hand of somebody that um, has an expertise in the audio, the video, um, and the, the soft codec or the cloud solution you're going to use. And I think Jay is that guy. So he will share um, his uh, contact information with you in a moment. And, yeah. uh Feel free to give him a buzz. I'm sure he'll help you out wherever you are. Yeah, be happy. Uh, be happy to. Uh, bear with me, Zach. I'm pulling it up right now. How's the weather out there right now, Jay? I'm gonna have to make a trip to come and see you pretty soon. Man, you 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 will not be able to pick a better time to uh, to come see us than in, in the next uh, next six weeks. It will not be too hot, and uh, and it will also um, <laughs> it, it, it's just. It, it's, it's a very good time to uh, to be in North Carolina. Let's put it that way. You guys have the, you guys have the six week window out there. I'm sorry. Is that what you guys have the six week window of uh, perfect weather. Yeah, we tend to yeah by uh, usually by the middle of May it tends to get pretty pretty wet pretty warm and pretty humid. Uh, but uh, right now it's it's we uh, we average about 40 degrees at night and uh, about 70 degrees during the day and it's usually uh, usually really nice. Sounds like uh, Southern California where I'm at. Yep. Yeah, except you guys get it most of the year round. There's there's a little bit of jealousy that I have with uh, with, the, with the guys in California. Uh, I have a pre I have a preference to Northern California because I like to sit around a fire at night and uh, and put a blanket on. But uh, uh, but your weather out there is fantastic. I grew up in Northern California, and I actually driving around uh, your city. It's gorgeous. I mean, there's trees as far as the eye can see. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's very very nice. Um, so anyways, uh, for those that see, I think uh, the information has been up there for long enough. Uh, there's his mobile number, his email, uh, ConnectView. Uh, is, that, is that ConnectView? It's just ConnectView.com? Yeah, www.ConnectView.com. Yeah, feel free to check him out. Uh, if you're on our website, you can go to Buy Products, uh, pick North America, AV Partners, JLI should be the first one that pops up, and you can follow a link there to his website as well. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for joining. Jay, Really, I really appreciate you coming on and, and helping out Sam. Um, and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Zach. I appreciate it. All right, Jay. Have a good one. You too. Right. Bye now.